So this is a Mazda MX-5 Mark III instrument cluster. I think we call them an NC MX-5. Um, now, I can't find anything on the internet anywhere regarding swapping one of these clusters over from one car to another. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it can be done. So I've taken the cluster out, which you pop the tray off the top, and then there's two screws that come in from underneath, and you've got to take the bottom trim off to get to it. So once that's off, uh, we're going to undo these screws here. I've already undone three of them. But literally, I've been Googling. I can't find any dump files or info about these whatsoever, which is strange because they made millions of these Mark III MX-5s, NCs. So what have we got inside? Um, we've got a microprocessor, and this here, will it give us a focus? That is an EEPROM, and I think that stores all of your mileage data and your PATS, your key code data. So I bet if you literally just move this one EEPROM here from one cluster to the other cluster, the car will start and all of the correct mileage will be on the dash. Right, so we've got the cluster on the bench, and that is the EEPROM right there. Now, if we have a look through the microscope, there it is, S93C56. So we'll get that unsoldered, have a look. Right, so we've got the EEPROM unsoldered from here. Uh, we've read it in this, and... Um, here is the data from the EEPROM. Now we can see there is a repeating value here, uh, which is this is going to be the mileage value of this cluster. Now using this handy piece of software, I've actually set it up as a Mazda 3, but it's not, but it uses the same EEPROM, but it actually gives us the correct mileage on the, on the dash. So that is the mileage value that's stored in them. So you can swap between one cluster and another. You've just got to correct the mileage value and then redo your paths. But if you just literally swap that EEPROM over, you can, well, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm literally just going to take this used cluster and then swap it over and swap the EEPROM over and the car will just start and the mileage will be correct and everything. So, Right, we're going to try it. This is a used cluster and all we've done is swap the EEPROM over not check programmed any keys up or anything right are we ready Ooh, look at that right no pats lot no pats light yeah and it runs so you can literally just swap the eprom over and you get the right mileage and all the keys work